Hello peoples. Uh, tonight we're going to do some dipping biscuits and it's going to be out of uh, the Atlantic salmon. The last video we did with the Atlantic salmon, um, what we've done, we had the whole fish, we've got heaps left over. We're going to do a tuna mornay, oh sorry, an Atlantic salmon mornay tomorrow night. And um, for tonight we'll do uh, dipping biscuits, make something different for once. See what we've got. So, the dipping biscuits, we've prepped everything a little bit start off with because you're just gonna we want to show you making the dip not everything else not having to cut all the capsicum up finely that takes ages we've got some brie cheese we've got some sun-dried tomatoes some cucumber we've got some capsicum some olives these olives are those ones those tasmanian olives i was telling you about you know got all the garlic and the chili on them we've got some um the red tomato there and these are the seaweed crackers these are really nice with dipping biscuit, believe it or not. Um, we're gonna put some dill in the, in the dip, some chives. We've got the Philadelphia cheese to make the dip. And a bit of sour cream in there, just to make it a little bit more uh, pliable. And a bit of lemon, some salt and pepper. So, um, there's two ways you can do this. So, we better get rid of the watch, because I'm gonna try and use gloves, because my ring doesn't come off. And get stuck behind my ring. I bet you these gloves aren't going to work, and then they're going to just fall apart anyway. Right, let's give it a crack, black. So it's a very hands-on dish, hands-on dip. But let's try. So first off, finish breaking up that Atlantic salmon there. So just making it into little pieces. So about you know something like that. As we push it through the cheese, it will, it's definitely going to get better and better there. So, we'll grab this bowl here, grab some cheese. We're going to make quite a lot. So, if you could chuck that in on top, my love. This one here, thank you very much. Chuck them all in there. Let's yeah. grab them out. Thank you. It's going to be a marvellous dip and it's going to taste absolutely delicious. Work all this salmon through. So we don't want to overpower it with the, um, any of these ingredients. The capsicum is going to make it taste crunchy, but the dill and the uh, onion here, the, sorry, chives, that can overpower it. So we're just going to be careful there. I wonder when I was working all this through. I'll get all the fish through there first. All right. This is actually very, very pliable. I don't think we're gonna put any sour cream in. Do you want sour cream, Don? Or honestly, look, it's just going through perfect. The cheese is nice and soft. All right. So, now we don't wanna to go too far with that. All right, so at this stage, all right. I'll end up changing my gloves a couple of times. And me washing my hands all the time. So, chop up a bit of dill. Now, um, you can go one way or the other. Um, we use everything on, on all our products that we, that we use, but. So. All right, got some, got some onion, some chives, sorry. Say it again, onion. Okay, scrunching right up. Okay. About half of that one as well. So, we're good to go again. So, very simple. All right, this one can go in. Just around the outside of the bowl and work him in. One can go in. Chuck a capsicum in. So, yeah. About so, probably half of that, half of that, I reckon. Some green, some red. Grab some gloves again. It is going to be very messy. It's so much easier to wash my hands with some gloves. Uh, 
Um, so, back to this. So, make it a bit of a mess here, get rid of some things. Like I said, it's very simple. All we're gonna do is pretty much all need all that through. Thanks, Dom, if you could hold it. Now you can see how much dip I'm making here. I'm making all this dip because my mother wants some and my auntie wants some. <laughs> so I'm making a lot of it. We're not gonna eat all this one, that's for sure. So, here we have our dip. So, grab some out there, what we're gonna use. Family and friends. Right? They always love our cooking. So we brought these yesterday. We thought instead of freezing it, we might as well just uh, make a lot. So, uh, once again, what we use is the Philadelphia cheese. We didn't use the sour cream. Now, because we didn't use the sour cream, we could actually uh, put this into a container and put it into the freezer. If we hadn't put the cream in it, all the cream's gonna do is make that a little bit more pliable, uh, so softer. Um, so we just went with the Philadelphia, and that, yes, you can freeze. You can freeze cheese, no worries whatsoever. And everything that's just gone into that, you can freeze all that too. So that dip will be, be able to be kept for, you know, three months. We're, all we're gonna do, we're gonna just put it in these containers and then we can um, share it around, so. Um, we'll even that out through those three containers and um, why don't we try some? Why don't we try some? I'm very excited about trying this dip. It's a very lovely dip and we've been waiting a long time for the uh, Atlantic salmon uh, to do a dip because usually we just eat it all. So let's try just the dip on its own. Very nice. Mmm. That looks nice. And it tastes nice. It tastes very nice. You can taste the Atlantic salmon. You can taste the capsicum, the dill, the, um, the chives. Most importantly, you taste the salmon before everything and anything else. That's the important part. Do not overpower it. You really want to taste the salmon. Let's try a bit of cheese with it. Maybe a bit of cucumber on the side there. Now, this is really nice for your guests because you can just do whatever you like there and, and um, Everything is there, whatever they prefer. If they prefer a bit of onion on it, olive. These olives are absolutely to die for. Mm. No, so yummy. So the Atlantic salmon with the brie cheese and the cucumber. Mm. So yummy. Hello, little master. <laughs> so with everything that I just put on the biscuit, I'm still tasting the dip and I'm still tasting the fish, the Atlantic salmon. Excuse me. Please like, subscribe and share with your friends and we'll see you on the next one. Tomorrow we're gonna do a tuna mornay with the leftover salmon. See you soon.